I've never been here before. Until I met you, at least. I'd read stories about the Solitude Windmill, but I didn't expect it to be that big. Well, everything's big here, actually. People don't call it the largest city in Skyrim without a reason. And also from the castle, you used to see just a bit of solitude from over the mountains. It's a different thing entirely to be here yourself. Everything's just so... majestic. I hope it all lasts. You know you can afford a septum or two. Other than the fact that it's in the Reach, I kind of like it. Just ignore the fact that a crazy cannibal cult roams the area. In Markarth, though, the Dwemer architecture is just kind of great to look at every now and then. You can tell that this city definitely has its own flavor compared to the other ones in Skyrim. Definitely a bit exotic. My kind of thing. It's so... open. A lot of cities in Skyrim just feel so cramped, if you know what I mean. It's much more pleasant to just be able to breathe a bit better. They used to call Windhelm the City of Kings, in my books anyway. Not all that regal in my opinion though. Well, other than the giant placards of the past Jarls here. Though, that's basically the only regal thing going on for Windhelm. Not very kingly to be racist towards a certain minority group. I know the Dunmer don't have a particularly race-inclusive track record either, especially to the Argonians back then. But someone should still break the wheel, you know? Who would want to live here? It stinks, it's dirty, and the people here seem to look nervous all the time. I don't think it's only because of the Thieves' Guild, it's probably because this city is just riddled with corruption. Don't get me wrong about the rift, though. I do love this hold in general. Just not the main city. Being on an island for so long, it's just refreshing to see the world in a different color. You don't see anything like it anywhere else in Skyrim. So, in short, the city I dislike, but everywhere else I like. Doesn't seem very impressive to me. Looks like a fishing town more than anything else, not a city hold. A nice one, but still a town. And yes, I do know there's a mine here, but it's pretty much obvious to me that the town relies on the sea much more than the mines. I kind of expected it to be a bit more gloomy here. Considering that this is the place where a lot of dead are buried, the area doesn't seem to be as dreary. The people here just look... normal. I don't know how else to put it. It's a small city in the forest. That's it. A city with a lot of history. Battle, death, just sad things, really. It seems people can rise above all that and accept the world for what it is. I admire that. It's nice. I wouldn't have any qualms about living here. Sometimes... It's nice just to get away from the bustling cities. A lot of them feel so... cramped. Except White Run, but you get what I mean. Even open cities like that tend to get a bit too crowded sometimes. Especially Riften. By my ancestors, don't get me started on that. It's too... Ugh. And the people there always look nervous, which makes me nervous. The countryside is just different. You know? Ah, the College of Winterhold. I've read about this place, but never really been here myself. It's a bit... underwhelming, to say the least. Everything just seems so... crumbly. Oh, well, that's snow. more for the main it's city, so if you'd even snowy. call it that. But the college doesn't seem to be in the best shape either. It also doesn't help that most of the locals here despise the college, at least from what I've heard. It's a village in the middle of a swamp. What else would I think? Not really my thing. I personally won't ever want to come here unless I really have a reason to. If I could offer some advice, let's not hang around here for too long. 
Definitely not what I was looking forward to when exploring Skyrim. Thinking about it, it seems... regular. Other than the highest mountain in all of Tamriel looming over it. I'm surprised it doesn't get any visitors. Even the mountain, actually. Who wouldn't want to scale the throat of the world? Maybe it's just me, being the adventuring type and all. It seems most people would be at ease just sitting around reading books all day. Well, I did that. But people should just go out and explore, you know? <laughs>